shoulder stand, Salambha Sarvangasana. We're going to begin on the wall. This is a really good way to approach this pose if you're new to it, and especially if you're new to inversion. So this way we have the support that we need, and it will also help you align yourself so you're not straining in any way. So bringing a blanket underneath the shoulders, it might take a couple of times for you to get up and readjust your blanket so that it's just right. And you'll probably want to have your mat and your blanket right, almost right up against the wall. And then you're going to come in from the side. Again, this part can get a little bit tricky. So that your bottom is right against the wall. And then notice that you're positioned on the blanket so that the head and neck are off of the blanket, but the shoulders are supported. And this way you have a little bit more room. So then bend the knees and bring the soles of your feet to the wall. It's almost very similar to bridge pose. From here, we're going to exhale and start to tuck the tailbone lifting up. So you can walk the feet up the wall. If you need to scoot your shoulders a little bit further down, you can. And then press into the wall until your hips come right over your shoulders. So here, you're at your fullest length through spine. And this is helpful in preventing any of that collapsing that can happen in the spine. This also gives you the space to really bring your upper arms under, taking your hands to your back. Now you can stay here. It might be good to just remain here for a little while. You can play with maybe taking one leg, taking the other leg, really energizing and reaching through the feet, and then eventually lifting both feet off of the wall. And so really feeling that open heart, long spine. You can look up at the feet, look down at your belly. <sighs> to release out of it from here, you can bring the soles of the feet back to the wall and then very slowly roll yourself out. After you've practiced shoulder stand on the wall and feel comfortable, you can arrange the blanket on your mat away from the wall. Same way, coming down to lay back so that the head and the neck are off of the blanket and the backs of the shoulders, the shoulder blades, are supported by the blanket. From here, this time we're going to exhale and bring the feet overhead towards halasana, bringing the hands to the small of the back. And then from here, just make sure that you've wriggled the shoulders under, all ten fingertips pointing up towards the sky. And then either one leg at a time or both legs simultaneously, inhale and lift up. Really think about tucking the tailbone and bringing the hips up right over the shoulders. Make sure the head and the neck are comfortable. Once you're here, you're really not going to move the head or the neck at all. A lot of times, some common mistakes are to really come out of this pose or carry too much weight in the hips. This eventually can put some strain in the neck or in the shoulders. So this is why it's good to practice with the wall and really get that feeling of tucking the tailbone and creating length through the body. Also make sure that the feet are active. And because it's a shoulder opening pose, you really want to feel that you're bringing your elbows as close together as possible. And then slowly rolling out. Shoulder stand has a lot of benefits. It uh, reverses the effects of gravity in the body just by being upside down. Any problems you might have with varicose veins or edema. It also stimulates the thyroid, again, the back of the head on the ground. And this relieves stress. It alleviates insomnia, any feelings of anxiety. And some contraindications of this pose would be if you have a headache, 
And if you're menstruating, then you won't want to practice any inversions. And also, it's really important to have the assistance of an instructor at some point just to really guide you through this pose. It's a very intense pose, and there's a lot of benefits to the inversion. So it is a pose you will want to practice frequently. So make sure that you have all of the information you need.